Hey guys, today I'm really excited to unbox Mobvoi's new TicWatch Pro 3 smartwatch. We're gonna have a nice unboxing, we'll have a real nice up close look at it, and also have a little look at the initial setup. It's gonna be a great video. I'm Shane Bow, and on this channel we discuss running, tech and how-tos. I just want to start by saying thank you to Mobvoi for sending me this watch to make some reviews and some videos on. It's a pretty promising watch. It looks nice, it's got Wear OS on it by Google, it's got the latest Snapdragon 4100 Wear processor, which basically has been specifically designed for watches like this to make sure that they operate really fluidly, smoothly, and they have a really, really good battery life. One of the things that I'm really interested in is the advanced GPS as well. Being a runner, I'm quite excited to see how a Wear OS watch with a good battery and a good GPS will work. But more than anything else right now, this is a completely sealed unit. I wanna open it up and have a little look. So let's get cracking on. And this is as literally as raw as it gets because I haven't even touched the watch yet. So these are literally are my first impressions. So take the cellophane off just there. Push the uh, box through just there. Yeah, the quick guide just fell out before anything else. So the quick setup guide just there. And we'll open up and take the top off there. And there she is. The TicWatch Pro 3. So put it out just there come back to the watch in just a second. So, got some other little bits. Membership benefits for Mobvoi, uh, product safety information, and some tips just there. Brilliant, specific gel, do not eat. And we've got the uh, new USB charging cable just here. So that's it for the box just there. And here we go, here's the unit itself. So, let's take him out from here. Um, first thing I'm noticing is the, uh, the silicone watch strap just here. The way that they've made it, it does look quite le um, leather, the way that it's embossed just there. But it's not, it's silicone, it feels nice and soft. So we'll see how bendable it is in just a second as well. Um, and there, yeah. It feels really light. It's, uh, it, it's a good weight. So we'll take that part off just there and there we are there it is so stainless steel bevel just around there um, and this screen is a 1.4 inch screen as well uh, and the resolution is really really good it's 454 by 454 uh, if you haven't already seen as well it's got like a, a dual dual display system just there as well so that's obviously the charging part just there there we are, that went straight on. It's uh, it's magnetic, so I'm kind of pulling it, it's kind of st stuck on there, just put a bit more, it comes off, so there you are, you can see that just snapping on just there. So, got the heart rate sensors just here. The, just go back to the watch strap a second, you can see the quick release part just there as well. So these are 22 millimeter watch straps and you can change them for others if you wanted to. So say for instance you wanted a more sporty looking one or you didn't like the um, the, the, the stitching on it, uh, you could change it for something else. So yeah, there we are. Feels really, really nice just there. So it'll be interesting to see what the buttons are like in just a minute and just see how responsive they are. I think we'll um, see if there's any power in the unit right now. If not, we are going to come back to it in just a minute after we've plugged it in. Yeah, I think we're going to um, just come back in a minute. We're going to plug it in, charge it up, set it up, and have a little go with Google Assistant as well and see what the screen quality is like. So 
So whilst I was having a little play with it, uh, it came up and said that it needed to update and plug me in. So I've plugged it in, it's updating. So it's now fully updated and you can see up close just how crisp and vibrant the screen is. So if you hold down the screen just there, you can actually change the watch face if you want and you can download more. If you swipe down from the top, you've got some settings. Clicking on the cog will give you more settings. Swipe over from the right just here. This is called the tiles menu. You can customize that as well. Swipe up for your notifications. If you swipe up from the left, you get some Google Assistant settings. Press the top key just here once. That will give you your apps. Press it again just to exit. And if you hold it down for two seconds, that'll bring up Google Assistant. What is the time in New York? The time in New York, New York, USA is 14.02. So one of my next reviews is gonna be a nice, in-depth, detailed review on this watch. I'm gonna get back to you on everything. I'm looking forward to sleeping in the watch, going running in the watch, playing with the watch, and just using it on a day-to-day -day basis. I think it's gonna really deliver with that Snapdragon 4100 processor. You can see from the video just then, just how responsive the screen was and how fluid it is. It just works really, really well so far. So you've made it this far on the video, please press subscribe. I'm gonna give you loads more great content and you can help the channel grow even further as well. If you're interested in purchasing the watch, there are some links below to be able to do that. If you've got any questions, any comments, chuck them in the description below and I try and get back to pretty much everyone I possibly can. Thank you loads for watching, really appreciate it and I'll see you on my next video.